Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Subnautica. In the last episode, it was very interesting because uh, we went on a journey and we got a lot of stuff out of it. And currently we have a radio message, which I probably should listen to. Um, but first, I do wish to un unpack my backpack here a little bit because I have a lot of batteries, which I'm very happy about. Um, is there anything? I don't need any of those anymore. I need the blue cap, apparently. Uh, some other stuff. I definitely want to place a bunch of these. Cyclops Engine Efficiency Module. Um, poster and Nutrient Blocks and Sample anal Analyzer. All of this stuff. Really cool. Um, don't need it at the moment though. So now, let us just, I suppose, listen to this thing and see what it says. This is Life Pod 7. Coordinates attached. Oh. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Okay. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Life part seven. Oh, come on. Okay, life part seven. That doesn't look good. Life part seven transmission origin. A distress signal has been received from life part seven, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Crew reported problems with their onboard fabricator. Sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora stern section. Great. Great. I am so looking forward to that. Uh, okay, I can't tell. Is the sun going up or going down? Um, okay, so what did it say? Southwest. Southwest of the... Huh? Eh? Sunk to 200 meters. Transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest. Southwest. So that direction of the Aurora's stern. I'm pretty sure that's the backside. So southwest. So approximately one kilometer. Okay. Uh, sun going up or down. I think that that is... Probably going down. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, it's getting darker. I'm not gonna go out when it's dark because then it's definitely gonna be impossible. So I'm gonna wait around. Aboard, uh, thank you. Um, and then I need to remind myself. So if I go here and here, okay, yeah, I need to remind myself. Did we? How much stuff did we get? Because I feel like we got a lot of stuff. Uh, reinforced dive suit. I think it's new. Um, we got the prawn suit. Epic max suit designed for navigating. Yeah. Aerogel, enamel, diamond, lead. We can we 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 can make that, right? Neptune launch provides a stable surface from which to launch the Neptune. What's the Neptune? I didn't I have been away for too long. Uh prawn suit jump jet upgrade. Okay. Cyclops. Ingredients unknown. Okay. Dang it. <laughs> that would have been cool. Uh, power transmitter, extensive range of a power source. Um, industrial lighting, designed for all environments. Spotlight. Man, there's so much stuff we can make with this. Oh, hello. Uh, single bed, bar table, counter. Okay. But that prawn suit, where on earth do we build that? Do we make that from the mobile vehicle thingy or... Okay, yeah, it's that. Uh... Do we make it from this thingy? Uh, climb. Use vehicle bay. Neptune escape rocket. Okay, vehicles. Okay, wait. Neptune Neptune escape rocket. Provides a stable service from which to launch the Neptune. So I, th I guess this is the next thing that we need to do in order to try and get out of here. Uh, prawn suit. Epic mech suit designed for navigating challenging environments on foot. So, if I have all those ingredients, you're telling me I can make a cool mech. Which I'm assuming is not going to be very fast for transportation. However, I'm also assuming that it's going to be cool. <laughs> okay, so not that. Um, I need lead. That glass stuff. Yeah, I don't think I have any of the stuff needed, honestly. Um... Like at all. Not even diamonds, it seems like. I don't even think I have... Yeah, I have nothing. <laughs> I basically have absolutely nothing of the sort. So I'm just gonna go ahead and... Um, I think unpin that. 
Because that's gonna be a while before we can actually go ahead and do that. I don't know what I want to make next, though. I mean, I guess what I need to do next, other than taking a look at that, um... I keep pressing that button. Other than taking a look at that life part thingy, I guess that I need to go mining. Because I need, I need more resources and I need to go deeper. I definitely need to go deeper. And there was the diving suit. The reinforced dive suit. Heavy synthetic fiber dive, dive suit. Providing physical protection and enhanced survival in extreme temperatures. Yeah, I need to get brave. And actually go ahead and... Like... I don't need the radiation suit at this point, I don't think. What is that? In my... In my thing, Seamoth here. I'm pretty sure that's where I left my other suit. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I already have this. Never mind. Ignore me, because uh, I'm talking rubbish. So, equip this. Now this is my diving suit. Put this away. This is the radiation stuff. Which is good, but also uh, not what I need at the moment. Oh, I mean, if you're there <laughs> right in front of me, <laughs> I won't say no, okay? So yeah, I, I need to I need to go ahead and make a mining expedition, really. Is what I'm getting from this. Uh, yeah, I wanted to grab some stuff, bare batteries. Not empty ones. Don't know if we will ever be able to charge any. I would think that that is something you can do, as they're just empty. But I don't know how, or if that is actually something that will become doable. There we go, two batteries, perfect. The perfect exploration vehicle, and the health is 100%. Okay, good. So now I am basically, at this point, just waiting for daytime to occur. Uh, where is my habitat builder? I don't have it on me. It's definitely not in the sea moth. So where on earth did I leave my habitat builder? Did I leave it in here? I mean, that would make sense if I left it here. Yep, that is. Okay. Uh, don't know why I left it in here. Guess I was in a hurry or something? I, I don't know. Not a smart place to put it. Ooh, sunrise. Okay, I was about to try and make some sort of office or something with some of the uh, cool stuff that we found. However, that is not going to happen now. So, equip you. Exchange. Boom. Go ahead and place that battery in... Where on earth is that battery? Okay, it's not in my inventory for some, some reason. Okay. That is cool. Don't know where that went, but we have no time to ask, no time to think, no time for any of that. I probably should have grabbed more water with me, as this is my last water, which I just drank, but everything will be fine. Go in here. All right. All systems online. All systems online. Good, because we are moving on to a rescue mission. So first, Seamoth Stern. Which, if I remember correctly, was not a fun experience last time. So... I need to be careful. <laughs> I just remembered that, actually. If you don't know what that was, uh, check the last episode out. Because that was, um... Yeah, that, that was, um, interesting. To say the least. I actually, speaking of which, don't remember any of this. I don't know if there's something scannable. I mean, Beacon Fragment, that's just Titanium, but we do kind of want Titanium at this point. I'm being very careful, because uh, I definitely remember last time. Uh, pick up Fluid Analyzer, non-functional. Okay, I'll take that. That's cool. Okay, we got some stuff. Um, Let's head up real quick. Yep, that's the stern. So from the stern... Also need to be careful of the radiation. Don't know if we're still... I don't think we will be leaking radiation anymore. Yeah, so that is the Aurora. So I need to head southwest for like at least a kilometer or so. Don't know how far... Okay, yeah, so... That's the meters being counted. That's the depth. So I don't know how far we actually need to go ahead and go. But I just know... Actually, from the stern, it's probably going to be in, like, that direction, right? If I'm thinking about it. Like, if I'm... Yeah, so, southwest. That is directly in this direction, and then one kilometer. Okay. Okay, this will be fine. And let's take a look at that picture again. 
Uh, a lot of cliffs, so this does seem about right, to be honest. And it did say depth of 200. <laughs> this seems about right, though. Like these cliffs. What's this? I don't like the look of you. Oh, you really... Okay, you guys are not friendly. Okay. Good to know. Uh, making it a little bit hard to concentrate with those guys following. And there's a lot of them. Yeesh. Oh, man. This is creepy. Am I even at a state where I can actually do this without... Yeah. How am I supposed to get out of this? <laughs> okay, I think I've gone a little bit off course. Depth of 200 meters. Yeah, right. This is a depth of 200 meters. Um, it's not going to be down there, is it? And I remember... These, seeing these cliffs. I mean, there's wreckage here. <laughs> Imagine if it was on the tip of this. That would be cool. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where we are exactly. I mean, it looked like it's kind of looking up towards cliffs like that. I'm just going to head up real quick and see where we are according to the Aurora. We're definitely in the middle of absolutely nowhere. A slow ascend. So we are there. I mean, it could be further out. I don't know how far away we are in terms of kilometers. So I guess I'll try and keep going. Maybe we'll fetch more stuff or see more stuff. 70, 80, 100 meters. I'm just going to dive down to 200. Because that's where the signal originated. 150. 170. This is creepy. 190. 200. Okay. There's absolutely nothing. I don't know when we're 200 meters away. What's that? This is definitely too deep. Whoa. What on earth? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, I, th I think I'm good. I, th I, think, I think I'm good. Um, okay, let's take a look at some of these. It has to be back there. It can't be this far out. Let's read what it says again. We reported problems with the onboard fabricator sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Yeah, thank you. Transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora Stern section. So it has to be around here somewhere because this is 200 meters. And there's no sign of any crash stuff here. I'm not getting out on foot, by the way. <laughs> not easily, anyway. Um, actually, with that said, we do have some of this stuff, which I will actually grab a little bit. And I see some scannable stuff here, I think, maybe? Scanner room fragment. I mean, that's some... Um, of that, and I'm not gonna go any further away than that, because, uh, yeah, no thank you. Right, it has to be around here somewhere. Like, from the image, it looked like it was looking up towards, uh, stuff. Like the cliffs. 
So somewhere at 200. Like there, looking up. So that could be anywhere in this area, honestly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There's stuff here. I mean, this is... 200. Aye. Okay. As long as you're not bigger than that. I do believe we're also close to where that thing was. Just saying. But this is more like 200 meter depth area. So I could imagine that it would more likely be around this, these parts maybe. I should have dropped a beacon by the stern so I could see the exact distance. <gasps> Wait. That's it. Life part 7. Okay. Um. I think we're good. I and mean, I'll take some of this stuff while we're here anyway. I just don't want to overstay my welcome, though. Ah. All breach is not okay. Ah, sorry, car. Uh. Sample flask. PDA. There's some. What a scannable. An unusual doll. Okay. Don't know why I scanned that, but okay. Crew lock. Let's hear it. New PDA data. Yep. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, crew lock. Aurora survivors. Crew lock seven. Here we go. I've tried everything. The analysis circuits on the fabricator are fried. I can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here. Have a children's toy. <laughs> oh Need no. Deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. Going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here. It's got to make something useful eventually. Doesn't look like it did, unfortunately. Um, just want to make sure I haven't, haven't missed anything. Doesn't look like it. Usually there's like stuff to, to loot, but that does not seem like the case. Okay. Well, that was uh, that was that basically. I mean, we got to explore a little bit, I suppose. I um, don't know how much of this stuff will actually be nice to have. But I guess I should get home and get out of here before something eats me. <laughs> and again, if I see stuff like this, I don't know if it's a good idea to do it in this area because we have sharks and whatnot. But I mean, if I see a cave, maybe I should go down it. I don't have much water. Hello. I don't have much water, but... Cyclops engine. Oh, those guys are shooting stuff. I don't like that. Okay, and there's a shark there. Yeah, you know what? Mm, ah, that's the hole. Okay. I can repair it. It's repairable. It's fine. It's all good. Okay, back towards more familiar waters. Literally. I think I'm going to head back, empty my inventory for all equipment and whatnot that I'm not going to need. I will need to go ahead and make some more water. And then... Hello. And then I was going to say, go down mining. Because we, we, need, we, need, we need resources, basically. I need to find some sort of cave opening. That's going to be good. Don't know where that's going to be. Small cave opening there. Not really what I'm looking for, though. I'm looking for something deep and big. I feel like I've probably set some markers. Maybe I haven't. <laughs> I need a marker with me, that's for sure. Base, home sweet home. Honestly, parking this thing is one of the coolest things ever. You just slide in. And it's just so cool. Thank you. Alright, let me get ready for this. I haven't done a self-scan in a while. Infected. Okay. Yeah. That's um that's great, isn't it? That's lovely. Okay, what could I need? Don't need laser cutter. I need the repair tool. 
Need the scanner. Don't need habitat builder. Pathfinder tool is good. Flashlight, definitely good. Survival knife. Don't need propulsion cannon. Seek light could become very useful. Um, okay, so I just need water, actually. Which is gonna be bleach, which I don't remember how to make again. What else is new? There we go. Need that and salt. I have one salt so far. Please tell me I have more. That's one, two. Uh, wait, that's another. Okay, four should be able to do it for now. All right, water has been made. I think I made like eight. Oh, yeah. And I'm gonna drink like two. And uh, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna keep three, three of each. Honestly, that is probably okay because this is plus 75. So I probably only need two. This is 30, so that's more like it. Okay. Um, I don't know where I should go mining. I actually don't know. <laughs> Wait, could we jump up here? There we go. Um, Repair that. I don't know where I should go mining. I'm thinking of going in that direction and hoping that I will find something. So... We need to look for an adventurous... Something. And when I find something, I'm probably gonna become a chicken and uh, bail out. We will see. I'm just looking for some sort of hole, some sort of deep opening that we can go down into and I mean this is what I asked for <laughs> okay this though is difficult okay whoa whoa hello I don't like the look of those snake things what even I definitely cannot get lost down here, because I have no idea how to get out then. Wow. Um. What on earth? I need my path tool. <laughs> I need my path tool. Uh. Three. Oh. Possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. Artificial structure in the re... Okay, well now I have to investigate. Okay, we have that ping thing. Artificial structure in the region. So you mean alien structure in the region. Just say it as it is. Alien structure in the region. Signal location uploaded to PDA. What? What is this? Use a pole toggle requested a cross-referencing of local environment scans with ideal habitat construction conditions displaying results. Large subterranean cave with multiple entrances. Conditions support a unique microorganism of predatory uh, life forms, minor structural instability in cave walls, extensive resource deposits. Ooh, this is good. Average environmental safety rating. C, optimal habitat site safety rating. B. Site 7 has been selected as the optimal habitat construction site for the following reasons. Wait, so maybe this is human. Close proximity to one of the cave entrances in case of emergency. Medium distance from a predatory organ organisms. Stable foundations on which to build. Ready access to materials as signal tracking the site has been created. Where? I wanna... Oh. I mean, let's go then. This is not really what I had in mind for a mining exp- Oh, hello. Mining expedition, but I mean, I will... I'm really scared of these things. Um, oh, medkit, yay. That probably means I will need it. <laughs> what is this stuff? Can I scan this? Doesn't look healthy. Okay. Well, we're definitely on the right. The music in this game. Can we just appreciate the music for a moment? I, the music in this game is amazing. Like seriously. Ooh, I need that. I need that. Like just the entire sound design in this game is phenomenal. Gold, special equipment. Oh, hello. Okay, we'll come back to that. 
<laughs> Thank you. I've only been gone for two seconds, but fine. Like, wow. And the visuals as well. I don't know if we'll be able to find our way out of here. Um, should be pointed out. Human light over there. Uh, ooh, loot box. Loot box with battery. I'll take a battery any day. Because they're annoying to make. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, propose. Okay, we do have a habitat here. Hmm. Okay. Um, is my ping still there? In theory, it should be, but I don't see it anywhere. Okay. Well, that's that. Uh. PDA. Voice lock. Integrating new PDA data. I will go ahead and listen to that before doing anything else. Just in case. Uh, is this one? I think it is. Five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Mott, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof. The weather cleared and we washed up here. I had made a salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Mm. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. Uh -huh. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. I actually don't think this is it. I think I've listened to this before. This is the one that I just picked up also because the plus sign, but oh well. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes the hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We <laughs> need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. What if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. People always do. Okay. Interesting. Let us enter. Uh. Water filter. Oh, I want that. Please tell me I can make it just from scanning this one thing because I want this now yeah 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 where is it where is it where 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 is it located I want the water filtration system so let's see what into what and salt that's a creep sound but I want that that's so cool okay I'm gonna switch to uh ow bruh what are you? Can I? Okay. Ugh. Pain. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna need the light in here, cause, uh... This is creepy. Very. Okay, going up. Ugh. Hello? Another PDA. Check over here first. Better not be destroying my sea moth, and I'm really... Really had it. Stalker teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So 
I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have. And those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me. More than I can say for father. 30 seconds. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told her they were attracted to metal deposits, that their teeth get dislodged when they pick them up, her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. <laughs> said she had the meeting out of the palm of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, that is the coolest thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here? If we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. I wish I knew more about these animals. But father won't let me leave the habitat. Maybe with all this glass, we could build a containment unit and get up close to them. Interesting. Yeah, that's the thing over there. Okay, I ran out of oxygen and had to uh, leave in here. These plants are really not that friendly. Anything in here? A bed? Another data box? With... Uh, nothing useful, apparently. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh... Nothing else here, really, other than some lore, which is good. Uh, lore is good. I, 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 to be fair... Oh, there's another Batman PDA almost missing. This is the biggest thing. I want to make that. You know what Maida told me today? She wants to build a habitat 500 meters below sea level. <laughs> a kilometer northeast of here. And she needs Bart and I to do it. She's got it into her head that she can save us if she just acts oh. recklessly enough. But I've hauled Star Wars to Neptune, Plasteel to the Federation. <sighs> this family operates nine different mining colonies across the Ariadne arm. Maida thinks she's better suited to lead. Her contract still says otherwise. But I just cannot damn well tell whether it's the stupidest idea I ever heard. Or my only hope. I turned 80 years old last week. I thought I had another 80 in me, but marooned on this planet, there's no swapping out of my liver when the old one fails. Here, I'm mortal. And Maida is useful. So, it's my responsibility to make a decision. Return to the island and hope whatever knocked the Degazi out of the sky won't do the same to the rescue ship. Or take us deeper in search of answers. And all the while be hoping old age gets me before the sea monsters do. I'll give Maida just one thing. She was right about these caves. There's enough lithium there to fabricate a hundred tons of plasteel. Enough for a damn fleet of Cyclops submarines. There was nothing anyone could have done to avoid crashing here. But I was right to order the detour. If we get off this planet... They'll be talking about the Torgel share price on the other side of the Federation. <laughs> Interesting. So, there's another facility. Uh, one kilometer away. And I'm assuming that I'm pretty sure that this is a dead end. And this thing did get attacked. But as we can see, this seems like a dead end. I assume that I have to go down where I saw volcanic activity. <laughs> I'm just gonna follow this. Because I find it interesting and we could potentially... I mean, the deeper down we go, I don't even know if I can... That's 500 meters in depth. I don't think this thing can actually go down that far. I need the Cyclops. I think that's what I need for that. Because, uh... At 300... Huh? This thing will start to not... 
Ugh. Function very well. I don't even know where we, where we get there or how we get there. I don't see a specific cave opening anywhere here. So I would like to find that opening so we know. But it may be elsewhere. It may be outside of this cave system. It could be. I think I need to get out of here. Even though I would really, really like to... Well, mine some resources. Also, I actually don't know where I came from. Uh, Wait, this seems like an entrance. I think it is. Don't hit the hole. This could even be the one that we came into. Yeah. Ah. Okay. I'm just gonna head towards this and see, because if it's a cave system, I'm gonna have to search a lot to find it. Or maybe it's not a cave system. Look at this. I mean, it is, it, this is cave. This is essentially caves. And I do want all this stuff. Actually, I think I'm gonna, instead of the flare repair tool, I'm gonna equip the sea glide just so I can get around a little bit easier. I have the batteries for it. I need stuff like this. Um, let's go down deeper. I don't really need much quartz, I don't think. This place, it's beautiful and scary. <laughs> uh, not really seeing a lot of ores. Yeah, I need something to get down here. I don't, I don't know. How I'm gonna get down there. I assume Cyclops. Or submarine. 500 meters. I would need a lot of upgrades for this thing to be able to make it down that depth. Also, these sounds are creepy. Really creepy. Yeah, this is a... This is a different biome. That would be why. Yep. Um... What's this? A red rock. What are you? Ruby! Hmm. I need diamonds. <laughs> I need diamonds and I need a lot of other stuff. Like lithium. Could scan for it, actually. Potentially. But I really would just like to find a cave that has a lot of resources in it. Uh, hello. This could be something. Could be. Huh? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not seeing many ores, though. I'm really not seeing many ores. I see a lot of that. A lot of quartz and stuff, but not that many ores. So that's not great. I'm scavenging for what I can find at this point. I mean, this works as well. I am getting a bunch of different resources. Just taking some time. Because I'm only finding like <laughs> one here and two here. Silver, lead... I mean, it's all something, though. What I need to figure out is what tool you need for those big depo ore deposits. I haven't found out what that is yet. Seamoth fragment. That's just going to be titanium. We do need that anyway. That's fine. Oh, life part 17. Hello. Have I searched this wreck before? I feel like I haven't. Fire reactor. I think I already have that. But I don't feel like I've searched this particular thing before. Also, hello, cave system. 
Uh, plop. <laughs> Don't want to get lost. Gold. Okay, now this is a little bit more like it. There we go. Silver. Some more here. And here. Lead. Oh, yeah. Uh, inventory full. Well, I can eat and I can drink. And I can plop down this. Okay. Uh, what's that? Oh, it's a creature egg. That's cool. Um, hmm. Not much down here. A little bit. Not bad. Anything in here worth scanning, maybe? Mobile vehicle bay already have that. Oh, I can go in here to get oxygen. Oh, that's sick. You don't like that, though, do you? Oh, can't see. Can't see. Copper wire. Inventory full. Not great. Need you. Where did that copper go? Don't know. 30 seconds, okay. Uh, fine. Lead, lead. Uh, e, uh, ooh. Fine. Can't have, can't have any more. Um, don't actually know where my sea moth is. I'm just gonna get to the surface and find out afterwards. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. Then head to Sea Moth and then head home because our inventory is full. So not quite caving, caving as such. But we did get some resources. And we got to explore and we found out that either I need a lot of depth upgrades for this thing or. I need to make that Cyclops, which is probably what we should aim for next. And home, sweet home. Look at this. Whoop, just going in. And there we go. Look at that. Great. So yeah, that is our next objective. We need to... Uh, where's the upgrade things for that thing? Hold on. I want to see... In here. Vehicle upgrade. Nope. Fabricator. Sea Moth. Death module. Enhanced safe diving depth does not stack. Okay, never mind. Does not stack, so that is irrelevant. Prawn suit. I assume that we need... Uh, I, we probably need something like that. Okay? So, before we actually know whether or not that is what we need, I need to go ahead and take a look at the recipe. So, I'm gonna dump all of this stuff in here. I'm gonna take all this stuff out that is not related to ores. Like so. Dump the rest of that in here. Probably take these two out as well. And dump these in here. Take all this out so we can have it in there. Not that. Put you in there. And then put this in here. Boom. That's actually now full. Good. That's good stuff. Let us see how much it is for the prawn suit. Which is what we need to move on to next. Okay, vehicle bay. Vehicles, Neptune. Uh, not it. Cyclops, bronze suit. So I need that stuff. I wish it said it with a very tiny text underneath it. I need diamonds. That's definitely something that I need. And I don't think that's lead. I'm pretty sure that's lithium. Of Nope, that's lead, right? Yeah, lead. Okay. So I have two lead. Then I need the glass. I really wish you could search in this. Uh, glass and stalker tooth. Oh, I need to get that plasteel. That requires lithium, of which I think I have two. But that's only for one, and I need two of those. 
I think I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten for one titanium ingot. Yeah. I need more lithium, so I need to find lithium, I need to get stalker tooth. But like that's that's one essentially. One plus seal ingot. And I need two diamonds, and then I need that weird glass. Which I need to figure out how to make as well. Um which is somewhere around here. M maybe. Where is it? That is weird. Aerogel is, unless I'm just completely blind, not in here. So how on earth do I make Aerogel when I don't know the blueprint for it? I, I must be missing some sort of ingredient. Hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call this episode here. We did some exploration. Very interesting. And I have more questions now than I had answers before. So, um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. I need to do some research. I need to find out where I actually get this. I need to find out the depth of the prawn suit as well. If we can even get down there uh, and stuff like that. And probably where I can actually go ahead and mine some stuff because I have not been able to find anything. So I might have to look that up. Uh, but anyways, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave a like and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful rest of your day and goodbye.